Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm back with another video, you guys. Sorry for last week, I didn't post. Um, got a little sidetracked and backed up. Sorry about that, you guys. It won't happen again. <laughs> uh, I just need to start recording more, and I didn't have time last week. I was just, it was just too busy, you guys. Too, 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 too busy. I'm gonna talk to you about the giveaway. So the giveaway, I know you guys been like following me on my social media and here. Be doing the giveaway 10k subscriber it's a while from now but i'm gonna keep posting more and more about it um i might do another giveaway with that giveaway so it might be two items instead of one so just uh keep liking my videos if you guys are new to the channel put the post notifications on i'd highly appreciate it um but also another thing man if you guys just recommend people to my channel um i want to get I want to start growing this year on my YouTube, so it'll help out a lot. I mean, just just refer me, like tag your friends in my uh, on my Instagram pictures or videos or whatever. A lot of just attention this year because I want to grow in this YouTube community. So if you guys can do that for me, I highly, highly, highly appreciate it, you guys. So that'll be it. But also for, to the cut. So I usually cut this dude like once every two weeks. Um, he's a loyal client. I like to do a lot, very shy. A lot of my clients are shy actually. <laughs> they don't talk to me, they don't like me. Uh, so I cut it down to a five with the grain uh, because he has curly hair and I don't wanna, it, I don't, it'll cut it so much faster than when I actually use the, the shears or just the clipper over it because he wants to keep the, um, the afro on top. So I just cut it down to a five with the grain. It still kept it curly, so it just cut it all the way down even so much more faster. Um, did a mid bald fade and um, I, I added the enhancements and it came out very crispy, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but stay tuned, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't be a stranger. What is going on YouTube? It's Arlen, I'm back with another video. Hope you guys enjoyed my last video. Thank you guys for watching. So, on this part of the head, I'm using a five with the grain um, just to take off um, some hair off the top. I'm not really like, usually people freehand the, to take off the top or whatever, but I like doing it with a five with the grain so that way it's not taking too much off. And also um, it's gonna take every single hair so I'm not gonna be missing any hair if I do freehand, I'm gonna keep picking it out and whatnot. So the five with the grain, It'll still keep it dark and you still have an afro. So I'm gonna end up eventually picking the hair back out so that way you have curls and, uh, and still be dark. So what we just did, we, I just uh, put my fingers through his hair just so I can make it all messy again so it's more afro-y look. Uh, so we are doing the bald line. We are doing with a the Babyless Gold FX liners. I'm pretty sure they're called the FXs. If not, that's what the clippers are called. But you guys know these liners when you see them. So the, the Babyless liner. So I'm making sure that um, my line is straight. I'm not really trying to set a hard line. I'm just kind of tapping it. I'm not trying to set it in so straight so that way that my uh, my clippers aren't gonna be able to take out that line. So just make sure that you guys uh, make sure that the, the ball line is straight. And also we're doing like a mid drop fade, like my favorite type of fades, mid drop fades. That I feel like they look the best in my opinion. It's just my opinion. So we're taking out that, uh, that hook and we're just starting the ball line from the temple and we're working our way back. And then the ball line is going to be below the occipital bone. So just try to shape that haircut to the shape of the client's head.
So we are setting that first guideline with the magic clips, the wall magic clips, my favorite clippers um, so far. As of now, it's my favorite clipper. So we're making the guy line about half an inch to an inch. So as of now, it looks like it's about half an inch. Uh, we want to make sure that that guy line is uh, straight all around the entire head. Uh, try not to make it too hard of a line. So that way, when you do try to blend it out, it's not going to be so hard to take out. Um, use the corners. Always use the brush to brush the hair down, especially in coarse hair because hair tends to be moving around a lot and um, it'll be easier to brush the hair out the way so it'll be easier to see what you're cutting and uh, whatnot so uh, make sure that the bald line or well, not the bald line the guideline is straight across the entire head so now to take out that bottom line we are going to use the lever all the way closed with the magic clips to take out that bottom line um, make sure that you do the lever playing method um, so you just do closed and then halfway and then open um, just know that you do not have to go above that dark spot right there because you know with you know that you use an open to make that guideline so don't go past that anything shorter than an open because that's that guideline and that sets that guide so you don't have to go above it i know it kind of confusing a little bit but just know when you set the guidelines don't go above the guideline or you will raise the fade higher and higher So we're gonna be using our number one guard now to set in the second guideline. Uh, we're gonna make the guideline about another half an inch. Uh, we're not gonna really set it in. As you can see, kind of when I'm getting to the top of where I want my guideline to end, I'm flicking out. I do not want to set another hard line because it is gonna be hard to take out, especially because I want to be able to shape that dark spot into the top of his hair. So I'm flicking out, so that way it is making kind of like a, a slight line, you know? Um, so uh, make sure that it is even around the entire head i do recommend you do flicking out uh, like i said before always flick out especially when you're setting a guy line with a number one guard because it'll make it so much easier to blend it out just trust me on this now we're going to use that number one and a half guard to take out that dark spot right here so we're gonna be flicking out just flicking up flicking up and trying to use that guard to shape the hair kind of um, you want to be able to uh, keep the shape of the hair but also make sure that the blend is nice so I am flicking up with a one and a half because it still keeps it dark <laughs> So we're gonna be using our zero guard here with our walls. Uh, as you guys can see, kind of the general idea of what the blend is supposed to be looking like, I wanna keep it in this general area. So I'm using the, my zero guard to blend in that, uh, that dark spot out. Uh, use the corners because the corners, like I tell everybody, is the most important part because when you have the full blade cutting the hair, you're not really controlling the cut or how your clipper is cutting the hair. So when you use the corners, um, you kind of use it as like a pencil or an eraser. You have more control of what you want to cut and also um, it, You're just getting all the little dark spots you see so you pick it out with the corner of it And it makes it so much better Just no, don't go too high because you will raise the fade higher and higher and You do not want that you can want that fade in that area right here So that's why I'm using the corners and I'm not trying to like make it so so light I'm just picking at it picking at it and eventually it'll come together
So now for the most important part, we're gonna be doing the lineup. Um, but speaking of the most important part, I'm sorry guys, let me interrupt you guys from watching it. Um, what is more, what stands out more in a haircut? Does it the lineup or the blend? I want you guys to comment down below of what you guys think because we had a debate in the barbershop and uh, I said blend, obviously I I know that the, the lineup is important, but the blend, if I see somebody out in public, I'm gonna be like, dude, his blend is all trash. But some people think it's a lineup. I wanna know what you guys think down below. So comment down below and uh, let me know what y'all think. So we are about finished up in this video. I thank you guys a lot for watching my YouTube. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys support me and watch my videos and you guys learn from it. Um, and also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, uh, put that post notification on. Also like it and subscribe it. You already know the deal. <laughs> um, but thank you guys again. It means so much to me. My Instagram is at the top left. If you like following me go for it if not i'm not tripping but i'm arlen i'm out take it easy enjoy